I'm doing, it looks like I'm wearing the same outfits because I am wearing the same outfits. I'm doing two videos back to back. But I might post this another day. Um, buying a land in Ghana. Someone asked me about purchasing a land in Ghana. You need to be extremely careful if you're purchasing the land in Ghana. Even if you buy it from an agent, just because you bought it from a company doesn't mean it's yours. I don't know if that makes sense because this is what they do. They will get the land from a king and then the king will pass it to the agent for the agent to sell it or whatever their backstory is for the agent to sell it. But when the agent sells it, you need most of the time they resell the same land over and over again. So what you do is you get yourself a surveyor. Go survey the land. You need to survey the land. You need to find out whose them is on that land. And you need to do that deal with the agent and that person and get that person to sign the land away to you and then you have to go to the land commission and register the land which is going to also cost you extra because let's say for example an agent will take a land from a king and then the king and the agent will fall out now the land belongs to the king again and you have to repurchase the land from the king so there's so much dodgy things going on when it comes to getting a land in Ghana because for example you can even purchase a land from a king and because you're not building or knowing anything they can resell that plot and then push you back which I still don't understand till today but that's what's happening and why do I say this because I've purchased few lands and I've kind of had to go through certain things similar to that so it's kind of like it's a bit it's very tricky and really frustrating because after a while you just want to give up and be like you know what take it just give me my money but to even get your money back is a problem because for you to even go back and forth to like the lawyers the courts procedure is just long to try and get an agent to give you money they will just toss you back and forth it's stressful so to avoid all that just make sure the land is registered and find out whoever named that land is registered in so make sure you survey that land get a surveyor they will charge you they will charge you a lot let's say if you're buying the land for like seven thousand us dollars for someone to come even survey to even see if the land is even legit it will cost you about a thousand us it will cost you a thousand us dollars and then you're talking about registering that land which is still gonna cost you more so that's how the process of lands go and same with houses like there's a lot of fraud going on in Ghana right now and that you have to be super careful like what I said get a surveyor survey that property whatever property it is survey it find out who name is on it sometimes the certain properties in Ghana that are like old buildings that don't have name on it people do survey that land change the name and resell it so there is so much crooks going on that it makes it so hard to literally buy a land the best thing is like a mortgage house but then most of the houses are very basic and you might not want that you want to build your own home it's possible to do it but you just need to make all the right inquiries all I'm saying is get your land survey no matter what whatever property you have and if somebody's sending it to you get it surveyed check the name that is on that land because even if somebody tells you I'm sending it to you from my brother because my brother wants to send it get it surveyed most of the time this first is of they are out there they are out there to take blood like you're working hard for your money to get your stuff but someone else is thinking of something else so yeah hopefully this help I hope I wasn't blabbering too much but anyway see you soon bye